Welcome everyone to the presentation of the paper No Regret Slice Reservation Algorithms. So this work has been conducted under the Satori project, which is born from the collaboration of Trinity College Dublin and Chihuahua University. I, Jean-Baptiste, I am PhD student of Connect Center, and this is a result of my work with Professor Yosefidis and Da Silva. The network slicing markets are becoming important due to the increasing sophorization of wireless networks and the proliferation of over-the-top service providers. Very efficacy is a challenging and open problem as different size providers may have different requirements in terms of latency or reliability. And operators have internal needs. So service providers need to reserve their slices in such a way it does not incur unbearable costs of reservation. And at the same time, uh, it enables them to address their demand. For that, we design robust online learning algorithms we make use of online learning and more specifically of online convex optimization theory. So the virtualization of resources is enabled uh, thanks to new technologies such as virtual base stations, small cells or virtual radio access network. And the classical network architecture when, where users connect to the base stations which are linked to the backbone network is changed to a virtualized network where now services can bid resources uh, of the virtualized network, slices, which are uh, composed of uh, concrete uh, physical network resources from bandwidth to, to cloud uh, resources. So the infrastructure as a service has already been implemented in cloud computing environments uh, where uh, customers can uh, bid for um, cloud resources to a cloud provider, uh, and this is organized in cloud uh, marketplaces. Here, we envision a similar scheme where multiple service providers compete for uh, network resources uh, to acquire slices. So our most closely related work are paper four and five. They opt for a multi-time scale approach and they uh, formulate nested optimization uh, problems. Although very elegant solution, they rely on a strong assumption on the demand and the slice prices. In the online convex optimization literature, uh, the authors of paper six design a reservation model for cloud resources while facing adversarial distribution for the demand. But in this paper, uh, costs of the resources are supposed to be known and fixed. So our research problem is articulated in two major points. First, at a high level, the service provider can decide the slice size. So the slice is just a blend vector and we just reserve in this model for a certain number of slices. And the slice prices are revealed only after reservations. Again, the service provider demand evolves and is unknown. Uh, at a lower level, the service provider can decide the slice composition. So now we go into the blended vector and we reserve for each component of, uh, of the slice vector. So all the different type of resource that compose the slice. The resource prices are revealed only after the reservation and the contribution of each resource uh, to, the, to the utility of the service provider might evolve as well and uh, are unknown. Uh, the service provider demand um, again evolves and is unknown. For our contributions, we design offline le online learning solutions for slice reservation. We conduct performance analysis of the proposed solution and we assess the efficacy of our AI solutions against different traces and scenarios. We verify as well the different results of our performance analysis through simulations. So we formulate uh, for our system model the problem P, where we try to maximize a total uh, utility function uh, while uh, complying with a monetary budget constraint. So um, the idea is that we try to maximize this utility with regard to our reservations. We have two types of reservation. So first, XT is uh, the period reservation and will count for all the slots of the period. And YK is a slot reservation that only counts for one slot, given that we have K slots per period. We have a budget B allocated uh, to each period. And uh, so we try to maximize this while complying with this long-term constraint on the monetary budget. This problem P is clearly unsolvable because uh, the future uh, demand and the future prices are all unknown. 
So we um, formulate the online convex form of problem P, which is problem PT. And now we try to minimize this convex function while uh, respecting, respecting this uh, constraint function on the budget. So here we have a minus sign to have a convex form because the logarithm is concave function. So to uh, address the new online convex form, we design the online learning for reservation algorithm. First, we reveal the price of the period, PT. Then we make decisions in advance decision and uh, slot decisions for the, for the period. At the end of the period, we reveal uh, price and demand. Then we can compute our loss and constraint function. And then we make a dual update. So we opt for a primal dual approach uh, because we have an interesting feedback from the operator that enables us to, to compute loss and constraint function. So we make a dual update only when we have observed um, uh, the full information of the, of the sequence. Once the dual update is done, uh, we repeat the process uh, going to next period. So because uh, we opt for this dual, primal dual approach, we have to define the Lagrangian. Here in equation five, we recognize the linearized objective plus Lagrange multiplier time uh, constraint function plus a regularizer term that smoothen our uh, reservation policy. So this means our reservation does not differ too much from the reservation of the previous uh, time period. So the OCO theory introduced by Zinkevich in 2003 gives us uh, two fundamental, fundamental metrics, the regret and the fit. The regret is um, the difference between the cumulative loss of our policy and the cumulative loss of a benchmark policy. So the benchmark is, a, is, a, is optimal in, in a certain sense. Here, the benchmark we refer to is the optimal solution of each subproblem PT. We could uh, find tighter comparator, like uh, the, the benchmark, which is the optimal solution of the total problem P. But uh, this uh, benchmark is already a very challenging comparator. For the fit, we just take the sum of all the constraint functions. We do not take only positive violations because at some periods, we make savings, and this compensates uh, the period where um, we uh, bought uh, excessive purchase. So this is why we take uh, all constraint functions into account, even negative. So uh, the, the goal in OCO um, theory for an, un an efficient online learning algorithm is to achieve a no regret policy while, while satisfying the constraint. So actually, our lemma uh, gives us uh, this um, performance um, uh, condition. We have both sublinear regret and fit. Given that uh, we have as well sublinear variations of the constraint and sublinear variations of uh, the dynamic benchmark sequence. Now we are going to see in more details what are these two variables. So first, use D is the accumulated variations of the dynamic benchmark sequence. So uh, the variation from period to period of the optimal uh, solution vector of reservation. And use D is the accumulated variations of the constraint. Here, we enumerate the different system parameters. So T is the time horizon of the total uh, number of periods on which we evaluate uh, our solution. K is the period length or the number of slots per period. B is the budget allocated per period. D is the maximum reservation. So X and YK must belong to zero D. And this gives us the uh, convex set uh, zero D to the power K plus one and uh, our reservation vector ZT equal to X, T, Y, T uh, must belong to Z. Mu and mu are the positive step sizes of the primal and dual update uh, respectively. So we test our well algorithm under the stationary case first, where price and demand are considered uniformly distributed. Here, uh, we observe that we have sublinear regret and fit, given that we have as well sublinear uh, variations of the system. And these res results are achieved with uh, this choice of step sizes. If we change uh, the step sizes by, by taking a lower mu, 
we see that we get actually much better convergence, even if uh, the variations of uh, the system are, are not uh, sublinear anymore. This is uh, with an even lower mu, and we see that uh, we get even a negative regret in this case. So we test also our OLR algorithm under the non-stationary case. We see that uh, we get, again, um, good convergence for both uh, regret and, uh, and fit. So we also um, implement uh, an extension of the OLR algorithm, which is a slice orchestration extension. There, we determine the slice composition. We no longer reserve for the number of slices, but for the different uh, type of resources that compose the slice. So for that, we need a new vector, Kitati, which measures the contribution of each resource on the performance. So the idea is that uh, we slightly modify the problem PT to introduce the vector theta t. And now um, uh, performance uh, of our reservation is uh, obtained through the scalar product of theta t xt or theta t yk. We again try to minimize this function while complying with uh, the constraint. The vectors xt or yk at each slot are are vectors uh, of di dimension m, where m is the number of resource instances we can reserve, and they must belong to the Cartesian product of uh, segments um, zero di, where di is the upper bound for resource of type i. We have a second extension to improve our uh, performance. It's called the mixed time scale. There, we update the decisions uh, at each slot within the period because we have a feedback of the price and demand at each slot. So because we have uh, more feedback, we hope to get more accurate decisions uh, with this uh, extension. So here, we formulate the problem PK, where we must uh, minimize this function at each slot while complying with a new constraint function where we define uh, this slot as the remainder of the budget divided equally between all the slots of uh, the um, uh, period. So here we formulate PK in the slice orchestration case. So to um, solve uh, the mixed time scale uh, model, we need the pair slot Lagrangian, which is defined similarly to the Lagrangian previously. Uh, we can see linearized objective, the constraint, and the regularizer. The procedure uh, is uh, very straightforward. So at each slot, first, we take uh, advantage of available information, so pre um, demand and prices at previous uh, time slot. Then we make the decision. Then we reveal uh, demand and prices at the current time slot. And only then we make a dual update. So actually, our extensions um, achieve a good performance. We can uh, see in the plot the two extensions, so slice orchestration and the combination of slice orchestration and mi mixed time scale. So we see in the stationary case that we get a converging uh, regret and fit, and that we have slightly uh, faster convergence for uh, the mixed time scale model. Under the non-stationary case, which is uh, slightly more challenging, we also get convergence of both regret and fit. So we have um, observed that the step sizes are decisive to the performance of our solution. So one way to choose uh, wisely our step size in and mu would be to minimize this function delta alpha, which is uh, actually a uh, weighted sum of uh, the two upper bounds on the regret and fit that we found in our performance analysis. But this requires knowledge or estimates of um, the variations of the system. So another way would be to have periodic returns of the regret and fit values, and then we would adapt the step sizing accordingly to this feedback. For instance, if we have a low, even negative regret and a high fit, it means that we reserve uh, very aggressively and increasing mu uh, would give a bigger weight on the constraint, and then we would be more conservative. On the reverse, having a high regret and negative fit means we are too conservative, and decreasing mu would actually um, give a lower weight on the constraint and uh, give more aggressive strategy. 
So thank you for uh, your attention. You're welcome to to ask any question uh, you'd like. I would like to to thank the um, um, Natural Science Foundation of China and Science Foundation of Ireland for uh, financing this uh, Satori project. So thank you, everyone.